What's up world, I'm Mr. Vaca, and today we are gonna check out the second part of my Game Builder Garage journey to create my very own video game. In our last episode, we met Julie, the amazing developer and digital artist from Italy that is helping me with this game. In today's episode, we're gonna take a look at the brainstorming process that Julie and I had to get to where we are currently in the game. Based on the prototype that Julie made, we realized that we had about four seconds for the word to fall down. And we decided that four seconds was the right amount of time. But what we originally had was that you would shoot the incorrect word to blow up. We then realized that it probably wouldn't be the best idea to select the wrong word. So instead we chose so that you would hit the correct word. Then we had the question, well, what if we have a left-headed student? So we went back in and changed it so that the left Joy-Con or the right Joy-Con could be the blaster to select the correct word. Then we had another problem we had to troubleshoot. We wasn't sure how we wanted to structure the game. Was it going to be a three lives where you got three incorrect answers and then you lost? Or was it going to be something where you had a percentage? You got 10 out of 12 words correct. So after some discussion back and forth, we were gonna go with the three lives. So we started to build that and we realized, oh boy, we have a huge problem. There was only a limitation of eight text boxes that we could use. So therefore, that really only meant we could have a total of four words because as the words would scroll down, you had the correct version and the incorrect version. So eight total and we decided, okay, this is not going to work. We need to completely restructure how this game is going to flow based on the limitations of Game Builder Garage. And I'm going to let my friend Julie talk a little bit more about the process and where we're kind of stuck. Take it away, Julie. So Bill, here we go again. Here we are. Now I just detach my Joy-Cons. Uh, don't mind the books in the background, just some cool books about the history of Nintendo and some German philosophy books like Friedrich Nietzsche and, and other stuff like that. So, <laughs> okay, I'm, I just center the camera. Okay, focus a little. Okay, so this is a motion control game, right? Okay, as you can see, Right here, there are three games. Unfortunately, we have to do three, not just one. And they cycle in between automatically. So we just start with the number one. It's day, it's noon, then it's afternoon, and then it's night. Yes, so, so as you play, the harder it gets, the more... Whoa! Joy-Con drift, Joy-Con drift. So that the time changes during the day. Okay, let, let's try this out. Let's try this out. Beta number one. Oh, moment. The right Joy-Con needs recalibration. Start again. Okay. Oh, correct word, correct word. There it is. <laughs> Still no words, but very easy this way. As you can see, they are very, very slow in the first stage. Okay, the last one. Easy peasy. Stage number two, a little faster, a little faster. Ooh, um, this one. Okay, okay. Uh, this one. Ooh, ah, this one easy. Oh no! Okay, again, again. Yeah. Yeah, here we go, yeah, stage number three, oh, this time it's very, very hard, oh, look at how fast, this one, oh, this one is fast, this one is fast, Ooh. oh, it's the final level, yeah, I'm a pro, I'm a pro, woo, we did it! So stay tuned, I hope you enjoy this. Make sure that you click that thumbs up and notification bell if you wanna see the third episode coming out tomorrow. And most importantly, don't forget to work hard, play hard, and I'll catch y'all next time.